Hi guys, Mr. 3D here, here, and in today's latest video, I want to talk to you guys about the B3 Wingman and to try and understand why this weapon is so bad compared to all the other sidearms in the game. Now, quite a while ago, Respawn released Frontier Defense and they released a patch note showing all the weapons and titans and such that's been added in, nerfed, buffed, and such. This just standard procedure that they always do. And the sidearms received a nerf for some unforeseen reason. And I believe that they nerfed it so they can fit into the free weapon slot system. And okay, it might sound a bit balanced, but it generally didn't exactly need a nerf, considering that the sidearms aren't exactly that great to begin with. Now, they are capable of being used on their own, and I have done games where I've used just the P2016 or the RE45 or the Wingman Elite and such, and have done really good. But it's not something that you can always just pick up and always do in all matches. They weren't that powerful. In fact, like the name is, sidearms, they're only meant to be used as a backup. Something that you're not meant to use as a one-on-one -on -one encounter, just something to help you in case you get into a tough situation. And I already went into detail talking about why the sidearms were nerfed, why Respawn went ahead with it, and what this journey mean for sidearms company now in Titanfall 2. But the Wingman B3 is something different, it's something really special. This weapon here is so bad that it's actually overtaken the bad spot for the Vault. Now the Vault was a weapon that was really bad, like unbelievably bad. Now it's very usable, I can use it, I just go in and have fun every time I'm using Vault. But the B3 Wingman is just one of those weapons that it's just so bad. It fires really slow. It kills in 3 shots compared to what the other weapons that kill in a much quicker time and frame. And it's only a 2 shot if you land a headshot and a body shot. And to me that just feels like for a weapon like this that's so slow and so inaccurate, it, it really needs a buff. Now before, a long time ago, before we received this patch, the B3 Wingman was something absolutely amazing. It was actually a sleeper weapon. Like, yes, before it was really terrible, like, you know, just generally how it is currently, but it was something special when you applied the amped boost to it. Once you applied amped boost to this weapon, it automatically became a one shot. And that's when this sleeper weapon became a dominant meta weapon. I'm talking about how back in the day when amped wasn't timer based, when amped was, you know, as long as you lived, you can apply this to your B3 Wingman automatically become a one shot and then just go on the killing spree. If you're a really skilled player you could go off and you know earn about maybe 30 plus kills in one game just with the wingman B3 and just with boost. And back then it was extremely broken and I've been on the receiving end of it and I also have used it before and I'm quite glad that they nerfed it and they nerfed the boost as well but now the weapon is in a odd spot to where I can't really understand what use is it currently. Like yes, it's a sidearm, but why would I go ahead and use this when the Wingman Elite, the Mozambique, the P2016 or the RE45 are more dominant and better weapons? Those weapons there are capable of helping me survive one-on-one -on -one encounters in case I get into a situation where my main primary weapon is out of ammo. The Wingman B3 though is one of those weapons that because it fires so slow, because it fires so inaccurate, because it fires and, you know, only kills in 3 or 2 shots, it's just one of those weapons that it's not really usable. I don't want to use it and a lot of players don't want to use it because it's that bad. So generally, when it comes down to actually buffing the weapon, it's kind of hard. Like, I don't know how you could balance this weapon to make it so that it's good, but not too broken. So ideally, they could change it so that instead of being a 3 shot to the body, it could be a 2 shot to the body. Maybe then half his current ammo, just like it did with the Wingman Elite. So instead of it being a 6 or 5 in a magazine, it will be a 4 instead. And then when it does get amped, for example, it could then be a 1 shot. But hear me out, the 1 shot can only be applied when it's done by headshot. So amp the weapon, apply boost, aim for the person's head with the amp boost weapon, headshot, insta kill. That will play out quite fine. And if it's not, it'll just be a two shot to the body when amped. And that'll probably, you know, balance it out and make it a bit more favourable and more usable in terms of 
players actually picking up the weapon and you know kind of using it. Because the only time this weapon was actually properly used was when it was found out that you could boost the weapon and get one shot kills instantly. Except from that, the weapon is just one of those sidearms that no one really wants to use. And to be honest, I would really love to see what Respawn has in plan or what Respawn may or may not do to actually improve on this weapon. Because you should try to make all weapons in the game viable in some way or form. But the fact that the Wingman B3 is one of those weapons that is only good if amped, or it's only good for, I say, potentially cleaning up kills, and that's if you can land your shots. To me, this, this sidearm is probably one of the worst weapons in game currently. So that is the end of the video. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. If you didn't, then by all means, leave a dislike. I understand and I know what to do in the nearby future. So once again, thank you all for watching, and I do hope to see you again soon.